Hello everyone, so today I will be doing my November wrap up. This is probably the smallest wrap up I've ever had because I only completed one book this month, which I don't really have a real excuse for this besides the fact that one of my current reads is almost 700 pages, but besides that I really have no excuse. I have no idea why I only completed one book this month. I wasn't like a reading slump or anything. I don't honestly know how this happened. You guys, I think it's snowing. Oh my goodness, hold on, I think it's snowing. I can't tell if it's snow or rain. Okay, that is definitely snow. I saw the light. It's snowing. I'm so happy. First and only book I completed this month was Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. This book follows the perspective of a man named Dr. Lewis Creed and it's about him and his family moving from big city Chicago to a house in the middle of nowhere. And you follow them having this normal family dynamic, adjusting in a new town and everything seems normal, but the woods in the back of their house has this place called Pet Cemetery where kids bury their animals when they pass away. And the story basically takes place with some creepy stuff starting to happen around Pet Cemetery. I feel like most of us know that much about Pet Cemetery. I feel like most people know like the premise, but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys in case you didn't know. I love this book a lot. This was my first Stephen King book to ever read and I got so sucked into the story. Um, it's about like a middle-aged man and his family, which I don't relate to very much, but I was like sucked into this and I cared a lot more about the family than I thought I would going into it like I don't know I just got really sucked in by the writing so definitely plan to read more Stephen King books I rated this five out of five stars it is snowing it's snowing a lot more now I can see it now there's definitely snow in that rain I had to call my boyfriend and tell him I'm so excited we love snow we're the crazy people who actually like snow and get excited about it like little kids but it's snowing I'm so excited I'm so excited. Yeah, I'd like tomorrow. No. That'd be nice. Alright, I just wanted to tell you if you couldn't, didn't look outside. See, it's snowing so hard now. Really? It's nothing over here. Yeah, it's, I'll send you a video. So, this is my current read, and this is a big book. This is almost 700 pages, and the writing definitely isn't big. So this is what I've been reading the majority of this month, and I'm so close to being done. I'm 91% through it, and I'm on page 633. So like literally, I could finish this tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have tonight, but I'm so close to being done. And this book is so amazing and definitely expect to see this on my December wrap up because I'm, like I said, really, really close to getting done. So this should definitely be on my December wrap up. If it's not, there's a serious issue. My second current read is Of Men and Mice by John Steinbeck. I believe I'm like 10% through it. I'm not 100% sure on that. So we're reading this for my AP Lit class and we just started it today. Um, it's a very short book, so definitely expect to see this on my December wrap-up. This will 100% be my December wrap-up because I have to finish it for class, so there's no other option but to finish this. So I hope you all enjoyed that very small wrap-up. I promise I will do better for December. I don't know why I haven't been reading that much lately. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I'm not, like I said, I'm not in a reading slump. I just like... I read when I feel like it and I feel like I'm reading a decent, decent amount but I'm just like not finishing books. I don't understand like what's going on. Maybe I'm like slowing down with reading like like for some reason I'm not reading as fast. I have no idea why but I just seem like I'm reading just as much as normal but I'm not completing as many books as normal so it's really weird. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!